Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Luna is Sheila's long lost daughter. The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that Luna Nozoa, Lisa Yamada, is about as loony as they come. As a matter of fact, Luna reminds viewers of the only other person that has gotten by with such things before. Could Luna be Sheila Carter's, Kimberlyn Brown, long lost daughter? The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that Luna is supposed to be the child of Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, and Tom star Clint Howard. However, what if that is not the case? If Poppy was truly a gold digger and on drugs, she could have very easily lost the child she claims belonged to Bill Spencer. Poppy could have adopted a child instead. However, with Sheila running around, something even more simple could have happened. What if Sheila wanted to hit her child from whoever its father was and made sure to switch her daughter with Poppy's dead child? After all, Sheila agreed to allow John Finn Finnegan's Tanner Nublin, father to adopt him, why would she not hide another child in the same manner? Although Tom's music wasn't what some of us would call relatable, Sheila seemed to know every word, even though she didn't act like she knew who Tom was when he first appeared. What if Sheila was a groupie as well? Could Sheila have gotten pregnant by Tom and then switched the baby with poppies down the line? If this is true and Luna isn't Poppy's child, then where might her child be? Is there a daughter out there who has been looking for her mother for years? Suppose Poppy really did have Bill's child, and it was given to someone else to raise. How would Bill react to finding his real child with Poppy? Could the relationship between these two be salvaged? However, Luna's crazy seems to come from obsession, just like Sheila's does. Luna see no wrong is getting what she wants or cares who she runs over to get it. Luna is so much like Sheila that it is completely uncanny. Could Luna be Sheila's little mini-me, even though she has never been around her? Does Sheila's complete craziness run in the veins of all of her children? Can Finn read Luna so well because she is his sister and not his cousin at all? Is there much more to Luna than meets the eye? In the glamorous world of Los Angeles, where the rich and powerful play their dangerous games of love, lies, and deception, another shockwave was about to rip through the Forrester, Logan, and Spencer families. It had been a year of revelations, with secrets emerging from the shadows, but nothing could prepare them for what was about to unfold. The latest twist in the saga was said to bring one of the most notorious villains in The Bold and the Beautiful back into the spotlight, Sheila Carter. Sheila had haunted the lives of the Foresters and everyone connected to them for decades. Her sinister smile, ruthless manipulations, and a knack for survival had made her the ultimate adversary. But now, a new chapter in her story was about to begin one that would shake everyone to their core. Luna Spencer, the beautiful, enigmatic young woman who had recently arrived in town, had already caused quite a stir. With her striking features and mysterious background, she had quickly become the object of curiosity and speculation. Luna had captivated the attention of more than one eligible bachelor, but there was something about her that didn't quite add up. Her origins were shrouded in secrecy, and her evasiveness when asked about her past only fueled the intrigue. Brooke Logan, always one to dig deeper when it came to family matters, had taken a special interest in Luna. Brooke's intuition was rarely wrong, and she couldn't shake the feeling that Luna was hiding something significant. She had shared her suspicions with Ridge, who in turn began to notice the strange coincidences that seemed to follow Luna wherever she went. One evening, as the sun set over the sprawling Forester estate, Brooke and Ridge decided to confront Luna. The couple, united in their resolve, invited her to their home under the guise of a friendly dinner. As they sipped wine in the opulent living room, the conversation began innocuously enough, 
But soon, Brooke's probing questions began to touch on Luna's family. You've never really talked about your parents, Luna, Brooke said, her voice gentle but firm. We'd love to know more about where you come from. Luna hesitated, her eyes flickering with a mix of emotions. My past is complicated, she finally replied, her voice barely above a whisper. Rich leaned in, his tone reassuring. We're not here to judge, Luna. We just want to understand you better. You're part of our lives now, and family means everything to us. Luna's gaze dropped to her lap, where her fingers fidgeted nervously. The silence stretched on, thick with tension, until she finally took a deep breath and spoke. I don't know who my parents are, she admitted, her voice trembling. I was adopted as a baby, and I grew up in foster care. I spent most of my life trying to find out where I came from, but I've always hit dead ends. Brooke exchanged a glance with Ridge, a silent understanding passing between them. This was more than they had expected, but it only deepened the mystery. Luna's story tugged at their hearts, but it also raised more questions. Have you ever tried to find your biological mother? Ridge asked, his voice gentle. Luna nodded. I did, but all I had was a name, Sheila. No last name, no other information. It was like searching for a ghost. Brooke's heart skipped a beat at the mention of the name. Sheila, she echoed, her mind racing. Are you sure? Luna looked up, her eyes meeting Brooke's with a mixture of confusion and fear. Yes, do you know something about her? Brooke and Ridge shared a look of disbelief. Could it be possible? Could Luna, the sweet, innocent girl they had welcomed into their lives, be connected to Sheila Carter, the woman who had caused them so much pain? Sheila Carter is, well, she's a dangerous woman, Ridge began cautiously. She's done terrible things to our family and to many others. Luna's face drained of color. What are you saying? That my mother is evil. Brooke reached out, placing a comforting hand on Luna's arm. We don't know for sure, Luna, but Sheila Carter has a history that would make anyone fearful. If she is your mother, then we need to be very careful. Luna's mind reeled as the pieces of her life began to fall into place. The strange feelings of unease she had always carried, the inexplicable fears, the nightmares that had plagued her. Could they all be tied to a woman she had never met? A woman who had left her as a baby, only to become a notorious criminal. The days that followed were filled with uncertainty. Broken Ridge delved into Sheila's past, trying to find any clue that could confirm or disprove Luna's connection to her. They scarred old records, spoke to people who had once been close to Sheila, and pieced together a timeline that would make sense of the chaos. Meanwhile, Luna struggled with the possibility that she was the daughter of a monster. She had always felt different, as though a dark cloud loomed over her, but she had never imagined it could be because of her mother. The thought that Sheila's blood ran through her veins was almost too much to bear. As the truth slowly came to light, it became clear that Sheila had indeed given birth to a daughter many years ago. The details were murky, but the pieces fit together too well to be ignored. Sheila had abandoned her child, fearing that her enemies would use the baby against her. Luna had grown up without knowing who her mother was, only to discover that her mother was one of the most feared women in Los Angeles. The revelation sent shockwaves through the Forrester family. They had faced Sheila's wrath before, but this was something entirely different. Luna, the sweet, innocent girl they had come to care for, was Sheila's flesh and blood. It was a connection that could not be ignored, and it placed them all in danger. As Luna grappled with the truth, she found herself at a crossroads. She had always longed for a family, for a place to belong, but now she was terrified of what that meant. Would she be able to escape her mother's shadow, or was she destined to follow in Sheila's footsteps? The future was uncertain, 
and the choices she made in the coming days would shape the rest of her life. The bold and the beautiful was about to enter a new era, one where the sins of the past would come back to haunt the present. Luna's journey was just beginning, and the world of the Foresters, Logans, and Spencers would never be the same.